Welcome to my channel. I am here to bring to life a little bit of Christmas magic, some crafting and DIYs and a lot of fun. So I hope you can join me and make some magic for your Christmas holiday. And who am I? Well, I am none other than Indiana Jones. So let's get started. So for my first magic trick, as I like to say, no, it's not a magic trick, but for my first crafting idea, I'm going to use these little plastic wine glasses or champagne glasses that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I had this tiny little pot, a little flower pot. Now I'm using a styrofoam cutter, believe it or not, and it cuts wonderfully through pl plastic. So if you need to have any kind of craft supplies this Christmas season, I would get one of these styrofoam cutters. They're wonderful. So as you can see, I am just cutting the stem off of this wine glass and you'll see how I'm going to put that to use later. So next, and you can't see because I used a white paper plate, but there is a little plastic, you know, the, 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 the bottom of the, what is that called? The, the pedestal of the wine glass. Yeah. The pedestal of the wine glass I am using as the bottom of my little, um, I guess my bell jar here and my cloche. That's what we're making are mini cloches. And so here I'm just post pasting or pasting or gluing. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me today? And as you can tell, I, I always do one take for my voiceovers because it's raw, it's real, it's fun, it's wacky. It is what it is, people. And all I'm doing now is adding some flowers to my little flower pot because I wanted this to be like Edelweiss or something. I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. And I thought this was very cottage core. And um, so yeah, this is what I'm adding some little white flowers. And now I'm adding the dome, which is the wine glass to the actual pedestal or the, the stand at the bottom. And all I'm doing is using hot glue. You can also use a 6000 if you prefer. But there you go, there's your little cloche. And again, you, you can use flower pots or vases or whatever you like. And I just think this is such a lovely addition to any Christmas tree or to any tiered tray. So if you're into tiered trays, I should have looked for um, ponceras. I might make another one because it's so inexpensive. I can use uh, ponceras, little miniature ponceras or anything else I want to use as flowers. I think it would be cute to have a whole botanical tree for a cottage core. Now I am taking that little piece that I cut off from the stem, there it is, and I'm gluing it to what would have been the pedestal at the bottom. You see that? That's the bottom pedestal that you would normally like set your glass on. Now I am going to glue that little stem to the pedestal that you see there below. So I'm using two uh, pedestals, pedestals or stands, whatever, and um, one full wine glass. So I didn't throw out anything. And as you can see, it's wonderful because it does look like it's glass. And I saw many ornaments at Hobby Lobby that looked very similar. So here I'm going to add a little, um, one of those little plastic gems that they have at the Dollar Tree as the top of my cloche because it left this big gaping hole but just a little gem will do it and there you go there is your little miniature cloche and you can hang it on as a christmas ornament or use it on your tear tray and there she is isn't she adorable i love it i wish i had put some bows or something inside on on the um on the pot itself now as you can see there's another little example that i have right next to that one and let's see how i made that one here i am taking apart the wine glasses once more and there you can see the pedestal i'm going to use two pedestals for every cloche and in this case in this scenario i'm actually going to use those little teacup sets that they have at the dollar tree i took one of the plates and i painted it white and that's going to be the base for our little snacks. Now I got these little snacks and I'm sorry I forgot to film myself gluing those on, but I got these little snacks, I believe from Nbeads. Um, Nbeads now has a coupon that if you want, you can look for those and there's other little snacks that they have for Christmas. Nbeads is giving $5 off. There's a $5 coupon in my description and uh, they are wonderful products. Now I'm going to glue the cloche to my stand or to my plate and I'm sorry it's off camera, but all I'm doing is putting glue on the edge. 
and now I am just adding it to the cloche. This is a little tricky and that's why I have it sitting up or standing up in that little round box to hold up the cloche. And once you're done, it just is such a cute little... And now you can, you can have it just like this. You can have the cloche just like this with your little goodies inside. And if you can't find it from N Beads, you can always go to Hobby Lobby. They also have small candies for their miniature uh, trees. Now I'm using another plate that I had from my little tea set. I painted it white. Well, I tried to paint it white and some of it came off. So I'm painting it again. And that's Tiger in the background meowing for me. And now I'm painting the, the bottom. And again, I am so sorry I worked off of a white. Um, I'll remember not to do that again, off of a white plate and painted it. And now I'm just adding the cloche to the stand and there you have it. So you could always paint it. And again, I'm going to use, you can use a bead at the top or you can use like, I'm doing a little gem at the top, or you can just put a bow or a flower, whatever you want for the top. I've, I've even used marbles and it looks just fine. And there you have it, your little miniature cloche for your Christmas tree. Again, you can hang it off your tree or you can use it on a tiered tray. I should have made a miniature tiered tray inside of that cloche. Oh, and here I finished it off with some little bows. Again, these bows are already pre-made and they are from N Beads. If you are new to my channel, I can't thank you enough for spending a little bit of time with me. And I just wanted to let you know that this video is part of a challenge with Heidi Sonball DIY. And this is her Christmas DIY challenge. If you haven't seen her channel before, I'd be surprised. But if you haven't, please check out the description below where you'll find her link, as well as a link to the playlist for many other wonderful participants to this challenge. And if you're coming from Heidi Sambal, once again, thanks so much for stopping in, and I hope I inspire you with a little bit of Christmas magic today. Speaking of Christmas magic, you guys, I hope you've seen my floating teacups. It's one of my favorite things to make. If you haven't, I'll link one of my previous videos here. But I thought it would be cute to make a floating teapot. Why not? So here I just used that um, little set of teacups that you get at the Dollar Tree. And they're like really hot pink and purple and you just paint them and add whatever colors you like, I, like I've done here. Now here I am going to anchor the cup to the teapot. And all I did was take some wire that I got from Dollar Tree. I doubled it up just to make sure that it would hold the weight of the teapot and here I'm going to actually stuff the bottom you can use styrofoam but I thought you know hot glue would be fine so cold hot glue I don't know if that makes any sense because it's all going to meld together in just a moment and you'll see how right now I'm going to add what's going to become our hot chocolate so all I'm doing is adding some hot glue and that will become our it could be tea it could be hot chocolate whatever you like then I'm taking my foam clay and I'm going to make itty bitty miniature little tiny marshmallows. And you are going to get hooked if you start making mini marshmallows with this foam clay. And if you're wondering where you can get foam clay, please check out my Amazon link as I am an Amazon affiliate. And there's all the different crafting ideas and craft tools that I use in my little shopping center there. Now I have cut up my little marshmallows. Now I'm going to attach my teapot to my teacup with that wire. And all I'm simply going to do is just add some hot glue to the teapot, to the spout right there. And then I'm going to insert the wire into the spout. Now that I have well secured the wire to the teacup itself. And there you have it. Now, the most important thing that this project requires is patience because you do have to hold it unless you can find something that can hold it up for you. And now the next thing is we're going to cover that wire and what else are we going to cover that with but hot glue. Why? Because this is going to be the hot chocolate that's going to be pouring out of that teapot. Is it still a teapot? It's a chocolate pot if it's hot chocolate, right? But here, it, and I rearranged it so that it would look like the liquid is coming straight into the middle of that teacup. But yeah, I think it's a, a chocolate pot if it's not a teapot. I think that's what it's called. But as you can see, you just have to add layer upon layer upon layer. I think I layered three strands of hot glue 
coming from the teapot down to the teacup or the chocolate pot. I'm sorry. And uh, yes, this is, requires a lot of patience. Now, I hope you notice that my videos are not being sped up. I thought for Christmas season, we all need to relax and enjoy. And I always feel like I'm always trying to speed up my, there, there, there's the liquid coming into the coffee little cup. It looks perfect. But as I was saying before, I always feel like all my videos are always so rushed. And I thought I'd rather edit out unnecessary steps and have you see me doing things uh, in real time. I think it's more enjoyable and it's more relaxing, especially in the season that is already filled with so much stress sometimes and worry. So I want you all just to relax and enjoy. So here I'm taking some chocolate colored paint. I think this is just brown folk acrylic paint. And uh, I am making my little chocolate to go in there. Now, if you mess up, you can always clean up your painting afterwards with a little bit of white paint if you feel like it's gotten too messy. But if not, don't worry about it. It gets messy when you drink hot chocolate. At least for me, it always gets messy. So here I am just making sure that I paint all of the hot glue that is inside that little cup as well as the hot glue that is going up or coming down from the chocolate pot. And there you can see a side, a sideways look, a side look. Now I'm adding my cute little marshmallows because what's hot chocolate without marshmallow? Once again, I waited until the paint dried so that I can add my little tiny foam marshmallows. You can also use beads if you like. You can, you know, you can actually add, you know, whipped cream if you want on the top. And you can use a spackle to do that or a grout, white grout. Now I'm adding a cute little ribbon. And I thought gingham or this cute little red and white polka dot ribbon is perfect for my little cafe. My, this is so perfect if you're having a food uh, inspired Christmas tree in your kitchen. I just thought this is adorable. And again, this is also wonderful little idea to add these as a gift tags to your gifts. Can you imagine? Look at this. How cute. Who wouldn't want that on their gift? Speaking of teacups, folks. Yes, that's right. I took this teacup that I actually was going to use for another craft uh, around Halloween time and I didn't get around to it. So I'm using it now. I actually took a teacup that I got from Goodwill, it was probably 50 cents or a dollar, and I painted the inside gold, as you can see, and the outside of matte black. I was going to repaint it in red, and I said, you know what, I kind of like the black, it's very elegant, and I specifically remembered that I had these gold rub-ons, and these were a gift, I believe, from a friend. I know you can find these at Dollar Tree, if not, I'm sure you can find very pretty Christmas rub-ons at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and as you know you just rub it on and then you peel off the backing so you can see the beautiful design and again because the inside of the teacup was gold I just thought this was such a perfect combination with the black and gold and it is very elegant even though it is for Christmas and it is dark now um, I thought it would be so cute to create a little nest in my teacup. Now you can do all different t sorts of things in your hanging teacup ornament. Um, I decided some people use it as a vignette. They use it as uh, for a diorama. You can put little Christmas trees in there or little red trucks. And I just thought it would be so cute just to imagine that the teacup was sitting in my in my tree outside and a little bird family or a little couple of birds came to reside in my little abandoned teacup and um, they just created a nest and tried to keep themselves warm away from the cold weather well i live in miami it's never cold here so here i am adding some pines and some moss i added two types of, of moss spanish moss and a little bit more of the green moss and these little pine um i don't know if they're pine or evergreen yeah evergreen boughs I'm creating like a little wreath around the, there you go, a little wreath around the teacup entrance because this is, after all, a little home for our little bird friends. And you can see a little bird there, he's, he's supervising me, he's telling me it, it looks good. It looks good. At, the, at least I think he's telling me it looks good. Now we're going to add his little mate, and there's a little female bird. As you know, in nature, the females are the ones that are selective, not the males. So they're the ones that have to 
you know, brush up and, and look good for us females. They got to dance for us and bring us, you know, pray or what have you and prove themselves worthy to be with us. I kind of like that. I like that. Anyway, so here she is, little dove. And now I'm adding this little white wild bird at the top. I think he's very proud of the new home that he has created for his little bird girl. And there you have it. I think it's just lovely. But wait, there's a little more. I decided to add a lovely gold ribbon that I had found from the Dollar Tree. I think that's perfect. Now, something a little more rustic. I am going to be using this triangle uh, shape, I guess, frame shape or whatever you want to call it that I got at the Dollar Tree and some very manly plaid that I had amongst my paper storage. Now, I forgot to, you know, show you how I glued this. I actually used a glue stick instead of Mod Podge. I wanted to keep it quick and simple. Now, these wooden shapes I also received from N Beads. It's amazing the amount of items that they have. They have jewelry findings, beads, obviously, from N Beads, and they also have wonderful wood cutouts like this one. I just thought this Alpine cutout was so perfect. Again, I have a coupon link down below as I am an affiliate of N Beads. And all I did was I painted the, the trees, obviously, an evergreen green with folk art. And now I'm using folk art mixed with a little bit of water and I'm actually staining the wood because I really like the fact that these items are real wood and I wanted to show off that wood um, grain uh, within this beautiful little uh, deer or stag. I guess that's a stag because it's got, is that a deer, reindeer, stag, moose? What is that? I don't know. I think it's a stag because he's got those antlers so anyway there I am I just darkened him up a little with that homemade stain now I'm going to use Epsom salts number one it smells amazing it smells absolutely amazing but number two I thought it would look cute to put the items within the snow now the these wood cutouts I have seen them also at Dollar Tree and just to let you know that the wood cutouts that I received from N Beads also came with a platform now, I didn't want to use the platform per se because, well, it didn't fit. It was a little wider than the frame. Now, I wanted this to be a little floating. I didn't want to put the evergreen trees right up against the paper. So I am cutting up these little pieces of, um, what is it, uh, makeup sponges? Little makeup sponges. And that's just to give it a little bit of space between the item and the actual paper in the back. And it just gives it dimension. This is pretty much like a diorama. I love the fact that these trees are going to fit so perfectly into this little diorama. And again, I just want to make sure that it looks good. So I added a little bit more snow. Um, I was just going to paint on the snow, but what I did was add that Epsom salts to my trees to give them a little bit of a snowy look. And I think it did a great job. Again, have a bag of Epsom salts because number one, it smells really good. Number two, it's fantastically cheap to decorate with Epsom salts. So all I'm doing now is placing little evergreen trees inside of my triangle. And then I'm going to add my beautiful reindeer or my stag, whatever you want to call it. And there you have it, my friends. I honestly wanted to keep this very simple and rustic and elegant. And also it's pretty masculine as well. So a nice little addition to any home or office or you can actually use this as an ornament if you'd like for bigger trees Thank you once again for stopping by and thanks to Heidi for hosting this wonderful challenge. I hope you come back for more and please like, share and subscribe. And as I always say, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you and live the adventure.